And now for something completely different. So, this is just something I did on the side, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, this started life, I think, all right, so let's start with what, what, do you, what do you think of the overall project? It is, it is a plastic shark skull. Yes, that's what it is. It has been dipped. This started life as a $9 item from Spirit Halloween. A couple weeks ago, we took the boys looking for costumes. They all, um, well, Aiden found his way to the adult section by accident and found a Skella boner, which he really wanted to be, but of course, no. Um, but I found this sitting there in the like accessories or whatever. And I said, I, I have to get that and do something with it at the shop. And um, I didn't know what, but I knew I had to do something with it. So I, I sat for a few days and I thought about it and Darren uh, had a great idea to do this uh, Cryptek Obscura pattern on it. Which we also call Predator Vision, or I call Predator Vision, because, you know, it has, like, the look of the, you know, infrared kind. Anyway, that's what I call it. Um, now, it is a cheap-ass, plastic, made-in-China, Halloween, whatever accessory. But, I saw a potential in it. So, starting off as just this bone-colored plastic, I did the standard. I had to buff it down with a 3M pad. I had to find out how to disassemble it, which was which was not easy, believe me. Um, especially the way it was made. Uh, it has some, some plastic push things that had to come out. I had to figure out how to do that. I had to unscrew it. Anyway, had, basically all I did was I had to separate the top from the bottom jaw. By the way, it's dipped 360. Um, I dipped it, and then I went to work with some just plain old acrylic uh, craft paint, really. Nothing fancy in a brush. Had to rebrush the teeth. Um, I'll throw in some pictures of what it looked like right after dipping so that you can see. But I had to I had to rebrush the teeth and sharks being sharks I didn't go too crazy because you know shark teeth can be a little dirty so I just put the white back on there basically you can't tell but on the inside there's like gray there's like shark gray um, and then of course a, a red pinkish tongue to go with it so as I'm sitting there thinking what is this going to be is it going to be decorative is it going to be I don't know, just something just something to show off. Dip. I mean, because this is great film, by the way. The TWN makes some of the best film out there. Um, and this is a, a new film. It, it's not an old... I'm new in terms of release, yes, newer, but it's also new, ordered new. So fresh film always dips great. I was thinking about it and I was looking at it. I was like, what a great and unique new valet tray to do to have you know i have my my leather valet tray that i can throw all my stuff in but then i was thinking because it got the nice you know automotive 2k clear coat what a cool what a cool place to put all my stuff you know for the day because i can't this can be positioned i uh, i put it together a little bit tight i can loosen it up a little bit the screws so that the mouth opens more and i can have an open mouth shark like you know like that um and so I think this is going to be my new valet tray, where I'm just, you know, I'm going to, you know, the standard, oh, wow, that was great. I almost killed myself. Awesome. Standard for me. But you guys know how you do with that stuff, where you just, um, you know, you, you throw your stuff in it, um, pocket dump style, whatever it is that you're carrying around for the day, or that you usually carry EDC-wise, um, and that's how you organize it, and that's how you know where it all is at one time when you're ready to leave the house. So this, I'm always looking for projects in obscure places, in weird places, in not the normal places, because I like to do things that are a little bit different. And um, I knew there was a project in this when I saw it, I just wasn't sure what it was. So um, it could just be purely decorative, but I like it to be functional, so yeah. So now I have a, a, uh, a Cryptek dipped shark valet tray ready for my sharking whenever I want and I will I will loosen it up so that it uh, I'll loosen it open it and then tighten it again so that it, the mouth is permanently open so I can just put all my stuff in there when I get home ready to leave for the day grab it out and you know this coat this uh this top coat will protect everything under it for a long time it won't scratch or anything like that it will eventually everything will will, will abrade and, and get some scratches and stuff. But um, what do you guys think? Good idea? Fun idea? 
Interesting idea, a little bit different. I mean, that's what I was looking for. I can also make it talk and do things like feed me, Seymour, or just like, fuck you, I hate you, I'm a shark, I'll eat your face. Whatever, I can do whatever I want with it, it's mine. I just, I, just, I thought it was a fun idea, so I thought I'd show it to you. You take a $9 little crappy thing you find in the Halloween store and do something fun with it. That's what I like to do, that's my favorite thing. Um, one, of, one of my favorite things, it's just finding a project out of nowhere. So anyway, there's my new valet tray, there's my new shark skull, cryptic obscura valet tray. Wanted to show it off to you guys. I, I, I want your feedback. What do you guys think? Waste of time? Fun project? Useful? Would anybody else, if they had this, would anybody else use this? I could do another one of these and make it a giveaway. I don't, I'm just saying. In, in another pattern. Um, or the same pattern or whatever. What do you guys think? Give me your input. Please. Give me your feedback and tell me what you think of this guy. Because I'm dying to know. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. And remember... Monty Python is classic comedy, if you didn't get the reference, but never mind. And you guys are all absolutely awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.